Well, hello everyone, it's Renata here from RW Psychology. We are on day 70 of the 90 Days of Momentum. So nice to have you join me. And it's been so lovely to have a bunch of you following along. And I know that some of you have actually done 70 days. So I'm so proud of all of you for getting this far. So I know that, you know, Marie, Shan we've got Marie, Sharon, Shannon, Garth. I know you've been following as well, John. So I'm sending a bit of a shout out to all of you that have been watching along this whole time. It's been really lovely and it's been lovely to know that, you know, the videos are, are adding a bit of value and, and you're getting something from them. So I'm hopeful that that, that continues. Now tonight, obviously it's really with, with a really heavy heart with everything going on in London. It's a really awful situation and, and I can't help but comment on that. Um, obviously, you know, there's lots of people that are uh, that are grieving tonight, that are feeling frightened and, and that are really struggling this evening. And terrorism is a really awful thing. And it's, it's something that's quite new that has come about in the last few years. And terrorism is designed to, to create anxiety and to create fear and to stop us from doing our everyday things. Um, it's something that um, is supposed to instill fear and keep people from, you know, going to concerts, going to churches, going to doing their day-to-day -day things. And I suppose the one way we can combat terror is to actually not be afraid to live our lives and to do what we do. Um, because otherwise anxiety is, is very much like a poster I put up some, some weeks ago. Um, anxiety is a bit like walking around with umbrella waiting for it to rain. We don't know when terror might strike and we can't live our day-to-day -day lives expecting it to. So I guess it's really important to mark that tonight and I'm so terribly sorry for all of those people affected this evening. But I just want to add that it's really important that we ensure that, you know, we, we continue to do as we do and not be defeated by these really awful people that are doing horrible things in our society. Now, on to the next bit. I've said my piece. <laughs> now, tonight, what I wanted to talk about, the next 10 days, we are obviously on day 70. The next 10 days, 70 to day 80, we are doing some big stuff. I'm still unsure about what I want to call it, but it's going to be huge. What I actually want to do is I want to mark it with really injecting it with momentum. You know, what is it that's going to supercharge us to be up? And I kind of want to call it bringing our A game. How are we going to bring our best over the next 10 days? So tonight, I don't know where you are and I don't know where, and oh, Sharon, you've commented, let me read it. So my heart goes out to all touch by what's happened, but it's great to hear you're feeling better and we're getting heaps out of your videos. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon. Really appreciate your feedback. It's lovely to hear. I'm glad that it's been helpful. So what we're talking about tonight, we are going to be bringing our A game. Now, what does that mean? What I mean by bringing our A game is starting to fine tune what are some things that are getting in the way of you moving forward? What are some of the roadblocks? What are some things that we need to do to get you above and beyond your stuckness? So, I don't know where you are tonight. Where I am, it's bin night. Now, why do I talk about bin night? Sometimes there are things in our life that we need to let go of, that we need to chuck in the trash, we need to get chucked in the bin, we need to let go of some stuff. We need to identify some things we may, we may need to finally let go of so that we can move forward. It might be bitterness, resentment, anger, frustration, some unforgiveness, some, there could be some family dynamics. There might be some lots of things that, that can get in the way of you moving forward. It is so important to identify what are those things that are getting you getting in the way, what are roadblocks for you to actually taking that step forward and stepping into what is waiting for you in tomorrow morning. 
So I really urge you tonight to really think about what's going on for you in your life. What do you identify as keeping you stuck and deciding tonight's been night, what am I going to deal with and finally chuck in the trash? What can I let go of that's going to help me live a freer tomorrow and be able to take that step forward and letting myself be free so that I can start the journey towards being where I want to be 10 days from now. So it's a, it's a big it's a big thing and it takes a bit of searching to work out what is it? Is it unforgiveness? Is it bitterness, resentment? What do you need to do to be able to chuck it in the trash tonight with bin night and say, right, I'm starting without this tomorrow. Each time I come back to this tomorrow, I can remind myself that I'm no longer being held by that anymore. So I'm hopeful that that's useful tonight. I want you to have a think about what that might be. And I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear over these next 10 days, what it is that you're, what is it that, that's brewing for you in this 10 days to, to being your best, bringing your best and bringing your A game. So I hope that's useful tonight. And I really do, I really do hope that you, we get some resolution over the next 10 days so that we can see everybody moving forward. And that's myself included. There's going to be stuff I'm put, chucking in the trash tonight so that I'm going to set foot on the right foot tomorrow. So that's the word for tonight. I hope that's useful and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night. Bye for now.